Imagine if your inventory were visible at every point in the supply chain. If you never lost track of it in any part of the process in manufacturing. Through distribution, warehousing, or at retail. What if there were no lapses in time between material and information flow, so you could know all kinds of things about an item? Where it is, at what time, and in what condition, in the right location, or in the wrong hands? What would this depth of information be worth to your organization? To operations management, inventory control, production, or security? And what if this prospect weren't iffy at all, but a technology that is here and now, beginning to be used by businesses the world over with the potential to generate millions in ROI? Welcome to the exciting reality of RFID, Radio Frequency Identification. A force and phenomenon that is opening eyes in every sector of the economy to the numerous advantages of the incredible visible product. Today, we'll use three video segments to examine RFID. We'll look at the basics. What RFID is, how it works, and its evolution, which parallels the rise of barcoding. You'll get answers to questions like, who's leading this drive? Why now and not later? And what benefits are here for you? Finally, we'll ground the vision in reality for your organization. Consider what to do, what not to do, and who to listen to, including visionaries who already implemented RFID and readily share their experience and insights. There's value to be gained. Stay tuned. To survive and thrive today, you have to know what inventory you have, where it is, how much of it you have, and the condition it's in. This is the promise of RFID. Although RFID will not replace barcodes anytime soon, it is a monumental advance in product tagging, tracking, and information dissemination. No more scanning. No more manual counting. Radio frequency technology allows 100% inventory visibility and tracking. The benefits are obvious. Higher throughput, greater productivity with reduced labor, and better, faster service, getting product to store shelves. We're talking nothing less than revolution. It's time to make a step-level change, and RFID has the ability to do that. As revolutionary as it seems, RFID is not new. In manufacturing, General Motors deployed it in 1984 to trigger just-in-time delivery of components to the assembly line. Over the years, RFID has been used in spray booths, ovens, and machining operations, anywhere barcoding was precluded. In hundreds of applications, from tracking military supplies on the front lines of Iraq, to keeping track of beer kegs in the back room of liquor distributors, to dispensing drugs in hospitals. For Boeing, it's fueling the ability to track plane parts. It's driving down costs and saving millions for Ford. RFID is literally on a roll for international paper. And P&G is cleaning up. Using RFID, Procter & Gamble expects to free up $1 billion in working capital and cut inventory carrying costs by $200 million per year. No small change though the technology represents a big change from barcoding. Since the 1970s, the barcode has been the workhorse in automatic identification. It still is, although RFID's advantages are becoming harder to ignore. Unlike barcoding, RFID requires no unobstructed line of sight to capture information so tags can be embedded anywhere in or on the product or packaging. RFID tags have a much higher data capacity than barcode counterparts and can store and reveal much more information. They are far more accurate than manual transcription and self-checking safeguards prevent errors. What's more, 
RFID tags have a much faster read rate, up to 1,000 tags per second. What makes these advantages possible? Here's a primer on the basics. At its core, RFID permits automatic tracking and identification of items through the use of miniature tags and chips that send data to readers using low-power radio signals. Like radio stations, tags speak, without DJs of course, broadcasting data about the item's identity, location, activity, condition, or history. This information is picked up by readers and passed on to middleware and application software that validates the data and then puts it to use. Each RFID tag is comprised of a chip and an antenna. The chip contains an electronic product code, the EPC, that just like DNA, contains information unique to that item and that item alone. There are three types of RFID tags. Read only, the least expensive, with data pre-written on them. Write once tags that allow you to write data to the tag one time in production or distribution, for example. And reusable read-write tags, which allow new data to be written to the tag as needed. Tags can also be passive or active. Passive tags have no battery and broadcast data only when energized by readers. Active tags broadcast data when triggered using their own battery power. Next is the so-called DNA of the chip, the EPC, that electronic product code. It includes the tagged item descriptive data and wireless communication protocols. The EPC can incorporate current UPC or GTIN information and a whole lot more. What we've done essentially is program a chip with 112 bits of ID and error correction code giving you two to the 96 unique IDs to sequentially and uniquely identify every single product in the world. Yet another vital element of RFID is the reader-writer. It sends an RF signal to tags to request or capture the information contained on the chip. And then there's the software to make sense of it all. Middleware that permits reader interfaces, data filtering, reader coordination, and system monitoring as well as identifying multiple reads on a single product and eliminating duplication. Middleware provides the reader interface to the application software that's needed to derive tangible value from RFID and which enables compliance and real-time visibility across the supply chain. It's all coming together and the vision for the future is very exciting. The real step change with RFID is it lets users look beyond their four walls. With RFID, they can get accurate, detailed information about products and information, both upstream and downstream, in real time. Thanks to RFID, the incredible visible product is a reality at every step of the supply chain. Visibility means the end of operating in the dark and the dawn of organizational control and efficiency taken to a whole new level. Most incredibly of all, this is just the beginning.